Hi, today the topic is Wobble Hypothesis. You all know the salient features of genetic code that is unambiguous, non-overlapping, no punctuation, universal and degeneracy. This Wobble Hypothesis is related to degeneracy. Here the logic is single tRNA can recognize more than one codon of amino acids. Right? Usually in tRNA one three base sequence that is anticodon is there. Whereas in mRNA three base sequence of codon is there. So this com combination of these two only produces protein synthesis. So the first base of codon in mRNA pairs with the third base of anticodon. You got it? The first base of codon in mRNA pairs with the third base of anticodon which follows the base pairing rule as well as the direction is from 5 dash to 3 dash. Right? This is the descriptive points for your wobbling phenomenon. So, the first two bases of an mRNA codon always form base pairing with corresponding bases of the tRNA anticodon. Okay. Second point is the first base of anticodon in tRNA pairs with the third base of the codon in mRNA which only determines the number of codons recognized by the tRNA. This is little bit complicated but very easy because you are having uh, below that is mRNA with the codon, above that tRNA will come and attached in this tRNA anticodon is there, both are three base sequences. How this will base pairing and producing the amino acid, this is the concept. For example, we know the anticodon and codon base. Anticodon base is C, cytosine. So, codon, codon base is guanine, G. Anticodon base is A, adenine. Codon base is uracil. This is actually conventional base pairing. Whereas, third base is uracil means it will be replaced by guanine and adenine or adenine. Whereas, if the third base is guanine, it will be replaced by uracil and cytosine. This is non-conventional base pairing. So, you should know the conventional base pairing as well as non-conventional base pairing for the wobbling hypothesis.